Hi everybody, welcome to my fifth instalment of the modern look at the Proverbs. And today we're going to be looking at verses 6 and 7 of Proverbs chapter 1, which read, To understand a proverb and a figure, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is a beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Now, what are they talking about here? What, 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 does, what does Solomon mean when he says the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom? Now, most people today don't fear God. I'm not talking about a sort of quaking fear of, um, oh, you know, God and, and that sort of thing. I'm talking about an awe and respect for God. Most people don't have a respect for God. And the thing is, if you don't respect God, you're not going to respect the, the Bible or the things he says, and so on and so forth. What Solomon is saying here isn't very popular. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In other words, respecting the Lord in that sort of a fear is the beginning of knowledge, it's the beginning of wisdom. It's the beginning of understanding things and having prudence and instruction and taking a step back. And then it says, fools despise wisdom and instruction. In other words, a foolish person is somebody who will, who will not take on board what other people are saying to him or her. They will just push aside any instruction and any wisdom that they, they are being given in any situation. Their, their mentality is a prideful one of, I know best, I know what I'm doing. I'm the one that can do this. You know, I don't need other people. I don't need other people's advice. So this sort of attitude gets people into a lot of trouble. I've seen it firsthand in, in my work, in a care, a care role. People don't take the instruction and advice of others and they get themselves into all sorts of trouble. So it's really important that we don't despise wisdom and despise knowledge and instruction. It's really important. So what does it mean to understand a proverb and a figure? A proverb is like a saying of the wise. It's a wise person saying. And it also says people need to understand this. In other words, it doesn't just come naturally for a person to understand a wise saying. People have to take a step back and think about it and think about what's being said to them. It's not a case of, oh, you know, you can, you can ignore things and you cannot listen. And that means you miss the salient wisdom in what's being said. You know, we, 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 we don't take on board the, the sayings, the word, words of the wise and their riddles. Uh, riddle, we often think of the Riddler in Batman, don't we? We think of a riddle. But to be honest with you, that's not the only sort of riddle. You get riddles that, that have a meaning and have an in-depth sort of meaning to them. A bit like Jesus' parables when he walked on the earth. He, he said, spoke to people in, in parables. And those parables had a, had a hidden meaning to them that would have helped people if they'd listened and tried to understand it. So anyway, that is my fifth instalment. Um, please do stay tuned for the sixth instalment where we'll be talking about the enticement of sinners. And the more we go into this video series, the more meatier the, the videos become. Some of these first bits are a bit samey, talking about wisdom and knowledge and getting wisdom and having understanding. It can all get a little bit samey, but we'll be getting into the meat of the videos very soon. Thank you for watching.